Hey guys, Lacey here, and we just got some very good news, some very, very good news about the Zootopia TV show. How was... yeah. <laughs> so, okay, we didn't get very much news, but we did get this image uh, showing off like a couple of characters that will be in, in the show and everything, and it looks great. It looks great. I'm actually like uh, really happy that like it looks like we're going the 3D CGI route. I was kind of expecting a 2D kind of style. That's because I thought I would be kind of lazy or cartoonish with it, which, I mean, would still work for Zootopia if they went with a more cartoony style. But I guess if, like, I don't know, for example, Doug, that's all in, like, 3D CGI, and that looks great. That looks really, really good. I really do mean to watch that someday, because that looks like it'll be a lot of fun. Um, you know, that one, they uh, announced a new Baymax TV series, which I don't know anything about besides Baymax. <laughs> Um, and that looks like it'll be all CGI and everything, so that's really cool. They're actually still gonna stick with that. Um, so that's cool. That's not what I expected them to do, so I'm glad they- I'm glad they are. So, you know, all the characters look like the characters and all that good, kind of good stuff. <laughs> but yeah, so that'll be coming out next year. I did- it doesn't have a release date at all. Um, it did ha- I, I swear I did see an image that says April, but... I, I guess I'm, I'm lying <laughs> or something because I don't know where that image is anymore. <laughs> so probably not. Um, so yeah, it'll probably come out yeah next year. And that's awesome. Like, yay! <laughs> I don't know, I'm really, really excited. The image looks great. Uh, and basically, yeah, it will be a short, it says a short form series. So I'm not sure what that means. If it would be like, the episode to be in two parts, like old Ludotude shorts, for example. Well, I'll have like two episodes kind of thing in like the 20 minute uh, span. Or it'll just be like short episodes, kind of 15 minutes-ish. Um, I don't know, I'm very, I'm very, very, very intrigued. Um, I, it does look like that, yeah, but like even, wait, we do have a synopsis. We do have a synopsis. Um, sorry if I seem all over the place, sorry. Um, we do have a synopsis. The TV series dives deeper into the lives of some of the features film's most intriguing characters, including Fufu, the newly married Arctic Shrew, Gazelle's talented tiger dancers, <laughs> because they knew. They knew that, like, yeah, that that's what people want to see. People want to see the dancers. Hells yeah, we do. Hells yeah. That is great. Even non-furries are like, why are the tigers so sexy? <laughs> Because they are. <laughs> Admit it. And the Sloth 4 supplies the Flash. That's really the synopsis we have. I don't know how old that is. I think that's like an older uh, synopsis. But yeah, so... I'm I'm intrigued. You know, like you look at the image and I love... Like, there's two there that I'm intrigued in. I'm interested in the Flash one. Because it looks like he's going out on a date with uh, the other chick we... Uh, the other Sloth that's there. And... I'm really intrigued, like, uh, that looks like it'll be a lot of fun, it looks like it'll be very funny. You know, with those two just, you know, doing the whole sloth joke. And the poor waiter, the poor waiter has to deal with them. That's gotta be really funny, that's gotta be a good episode. But then the one above it, the one above it with, um, uh, Chipogo and Clawhauser. That's the one I'm looking forward to, that's the one I'm looking forward to. I love the image there, you know, his pig outfit. And Chief Pogo, I swear, looks naked. He, I swear he looks naked, and why? Why does he- why- why is he naked? <laughs> now, I, I'm hella excited for that one, because, let's be real, everyone knows Clawhauser is gay. Uh, everyone knows Clawhauser is gay. That's- that's the thing with him, that's his- he's the token gay character. <laughs> Which, great, good. Have some furry representation in there. Good on you, Disney. <laughs> so... To me, I do kind of see them being an item, being something. But there is something rare with Bogo and Clawhauser. Um, because, you know, he, Chief Bogo is the big sort of, blah, 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 I am Chief. <laughs> that's how he sounds. That's, that's, that's exactly how he sounds. Yep. I am Chief. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, gosh. If I didn't know how to make myself laugh, I'll be dead by now. <laughs> you know, he's a big tough guy, but we also see he likes Gazelle. 
just like Clawhauser, he even has the same app that Clawhauser uses. That is like this l weird little uh, thing. <laughs> and at the end of the movie, you do see those two dancing together. Okay, sure, they're not holding hands dancing as such, but they're dancing together in the same shot. Just like uh, Flash and I guess his new girlfriend character that he's out on a date with. Because uh, those two weren't a thing, you know, those were just two characters that we saw uh, who happened to be sloths and then they, yeah, made them dance together at the end. And so then, yeah, the end scene was those two together in a scene dancing together. Now, okay, that could mean absolutely nothing. It just means that those two were the, um, well, like the only cop characters I had, besides Judy, obviously, but, you know, they're two different other characters, you know. They had Judy and Nick dancing together. And so then they had those two dancing together because they're like the two cop characters. And there was like the end credits, you know, showing off the characters at the end. Uh, just, you know, dancing and all that. But still, but still, I like to think that those two could be an item. Those two could be a thing. And so what I think this episode looks like to me is that they're going to go out to like a dancing lesson. And somehow Clawhauser, I don't know, somehow gets him to go with him. That's what this image looks like to me. If these images are what you, um, if these images say anything, anyway, they could be, they could mean absolutely nothing. Uh, they just randomly did this, but then why would they randomly do that, you know? <laughs> but like, for like the sloths, for example, that could just be a, a just be like a silly little image. But again, why Cheap Bogo and Clawhauser looking like that? That's what intrigues me, you know? <laughs> I can't help but be intrigued. So, um, it looks like, yeah, it will be like them going out to like a dancing lesson. I could see Clawhauser doing that as to how he gets uh, Bogo along. Again, I feel like those two could be a thing. And so, yeah, a lot of people, I, I've always seen people pinpoint this image like, oh my god, they made them cannon. <laughs> And I hope so. I hope so. Come on, Disney. Please. Please. They did good with uh, Eternals. Haven't seen the movie at all. But I know there's like a gay, uh, a gay couple in it. There's, and the actual male gay couple, I should point out. <laughs> I point it out because um, a lot of Disney, especially like Disney. Um, yeah, Disney have done it. Disney have tried to do the LGBT thing, which is great. But it's always females. It's always females. Whenever you see this whole, like, people kind of freak out, like, oh, there's a gay couple or gay thing or whatever. It's always women. Always. Because that's the safer option. Because men love women on women, you know. It's just that when, when they're told outright that, yeah, they're gay, <laughs> it's not going to happen, going to be some kind of weird threesome with another dude or something. It's just two women. It's just, oh, okay, rude. <laughs> or something like that. You, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Men are pigs. <laughs> and for some reason, I'm into them. <laughs> but you get my point. And it's always women. They, and if it is guys, you don't really see them kissing or anything. You don't see that. They won't generally kiss as much. Might do some kisses on the cheek or something. Like, oh yeah, that's a good one actually. Uh, Halloween Kills, the new Halloween movie that, that I did see, and it is it is an enjoyable movie. There's a gay couple in it, and. You do see them quite often, you know, they are quite shown a few times. There's a good couple little jokes there. I don't think we ever saw them kiss. I don't think we ever saw them, like, do something like that. And, you know, it just kind of sucks, you know? But, whatever, in the end. But yeah, my point is, uh, with Eternals, is in other countries... Those scenes got banned, or you know, they had to like cu apparently cut them out and such. But Disney said no, and I'm pretty adamant about that. Yeah, it's probably more Marvel side of things, of course, not so much more Disney, but I mean, it's all the same kind of thing at the moment. You know, Disney owns Marvel, blah blah blah. 
And apparently they were quite adamant about it, about no, we're not deleting those scenes, we are not taking them out just because these other countries say so. And that's awesome, yay, good job. You know, it's about time, you know, god damn it, stop, like, uh, stop giving in to one country, you know, that doesn't like it. They have to get used to it at some point because it's a real thing, it exists, it's in their country too. <laughs> so on so forth uh let's not start a war here uh, i love you guys mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> it's one of those things annoyingly that still exists in the world somehow um even though apparently they did delete some of the sex scenes <laughs> which why are the sex scenes in a marvel movie like they're like they're for kids marvel movies are for kids why are the sex scenes in there? Like, ew. <laughs> I hate, I hate watching sex scenes in movies. They're the worst things in movies. Because, God, like, I feel sorry for the actors. I feel so sorry for the actors who have to be forced to do a sex scene. Like, ew. Like, it's, 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 it's so stupid. You know, go film a porno then, if that's why you want to add sex scenes into your movie. Oh, but sex sells. No, it doesn't. Sex scenes... Watching a sex scene in a movie is so awkward. It is just awkward and uncomfortable. <laughs> no, that's not what we ought to see. Especially in a Marvel movie that... They're all for kids, you know? Don't, don't deny it. Marvel movies are for kids. <laughs> what do you think? They sell toys and merch that all kids... Are uh, for kids and such, you know? It... It's a why of the sex. Yeah. Anyway, that got bad. So that's kind of funny. But they did bad the gay stuff. So good on them. So they're learning. So please add some gayness <laughs> to this show. Please. Because there would be residents in Zootopia who are gay. <laughs> and obviously Clawhauser is. So add some gayness to him. And Clawhauser is a lovely person, so he deserves a partner. <laughs> Makes me wonder if he'll um, get some on uh, Judy's neighbours. Um, if we'll get any on Judy's neighbours who are like just like, yeah, no, they're a gay couple. <laughs> or at least everyone's just like, yeah, they're a gay couple. They're not brothers, they're a gay couple. <laughs> but yeah, they're different species or something, I think. Something like that. It's like, no, they're, they're, they're like... Yeah, everyone's like, yeah, they're a gay couple. So I wonder if we'll get more on that. <laughs> that could be cool. That could be fun. Um, yeah, but I think I think that's it, really. It does make me wonder. It does make me wonder if we'll get more of Judy and Nick. You know, there's a part of me that, like, I hope... Like, it looks like we'll do some on Duke Weaselton, for example. It does look like there'll be, like, um, a thing with him. So maybe, like... Uh, he'll do like a do like this, you know, his one of his scams or whatever, and then at the end, Judy and Nick will pop in as like you know cops. <laughs> that could be cool to have them pop in to all these different episodes here and there as cops, and you know, kind of deal with situations. That could be a cool little thing. You know, you obviously you want more of them, and I don't know how I feel about that completely. I guess my big question is. Will they still do a second movie, right? Because that was rumours for ages now. Like, uh, the voice actor for Finnick, who passed away, sadly, rest in peace, um, he, he said they were working on a second and third movie. Now, was he just mistaken and they were working on the TV series? Or did they, you know, change to decide, no, let's just do a TV series? Because people want more Zootopia. People want more Nick and Judy specifically. So, you know, the second movie will sell if they do it. But, I'm, I'm, I am worried. I am very worried about it. Um, and just, I guess, very curious as to what they do. No, they need to do a second movie. They need to do a second movie that focuses on Judy and Nick. Or at least after this show, do a Judy and Nick TV show. That is just... Zootopia Cops. Come on, Zootopia Cops would be so good. <laughs> I would love that. 
I would love that. That would be so good, so meta, so just fun. But at this point, who knows what they're planning and what they're doing. Um, either way, I am excited. You know, I, I, I feel like I will enjoy this show. Because, um, for example, the one with uh, Doug, the, the, the dog from Up. Um, the problem with that show, I feel like it will get old after like the first season. It, like, I'm not sure if it's only for one season, the one show, or if it's going to be multiple seasons, I have, like, this whole thing planned. Basically, I think it only, it should only be one season. Any more than that, I feel like it will just get old really fast. The joke being that Doug is a dog that could talk through a collar, but he's still a dog, you know, that's the joke. I feel like that'll kind of get old after a while. I'm not saying, like, it will. But I was saying, like, it can. Well, Zootopia, at least they're focusing on different characters and everything, so that does sound fun. It sounds fun. It sounds very, like, Looney Tunes kind of style. Anyway, guys. <coughs> anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think of, like, this whole thing uh, down below in the comments. Let me know uh, if you're excited or, like, why you're not excited and so on and so forth. And while you're at it, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel because I'll love you if you do. Hit that bell icon. And this fox says, be who you want to be. Alright guys, bye for now. Eh -eh.